Therefore comfort each other, and edify one another, just as you also are doing. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And the Lord, he is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear, nor be dismayed. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart all you who hope in the Lord. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Watch, stand fast in the faith, be brave, be strong. In all labor there is profit, but idle chatter leads only to poverty. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Since you are precious in my sight, you have been honored, and I have loved you. Therefore I will give men for you, and people for your life. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Now may the God of patience and comfort grant you to be like-minded toward one another, according to Christ Jesus. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Let each of us please his neighbor for his good, leading to edification. Are not five sparrows sold for two copper coins? And not one of them is forgotten before God. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. For if there is first a willing mind, it is accepted according to what one has, and not according to what he does not have. Therefore we do not lose heart. Even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. I, even I, am he who comforts you. Who are you that you should be afraid of a man who will die, 
and of the son of a man who will be made like grass. They shall neither hunger any more nor thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them, nor any heat. For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to living fountains of waters. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. That their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, and attaining to all riches of the full assurance of understanding, to the knowledge of the mystery of God, both of the Father and of Christ. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also abounds through Christ. For I long to see you, that I may impart to you some spiritual gift, so that you may be established, that is, that I may be encouraged together with you by the mutual faith both of you and me, 